Hello everyone, welcome to how to install the GitHub version of RSS Reborn in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 with Real Solar System, of course, because it is RSS Reborn, it's for Real Solar System. I have previously done a video on how to install the Google Drive version of it, and technically we don't have instructions for how to install the GitHub version of it, so I'll be winging it and hope that I'm right, but uh, Ballistic Fox may need to correct some things about what I have to say here. But if you actually go to this RSS Reborn repository in particular, it says this page is work in progress. Presumably this page would have all the details of how to install it, but instead it gives this current version here, and that current version is the version that is on Google Drive. And so it uses these instructions. Uh, broadly speaking, these instructions are similar to the instructions that we should be following but not the same because the locations are different. Uh, all of these links are to Google Drive. So anyway, uh, I'll try my best to explain how to install. I've already tried to install it and uh, gotten it to work apparently, but maybe I was fooled, we'll find out. So I had this shuttle install for the uh, Giulio Dandi shuttle. I demonstrated how to install that and also the initial visual mods. And RSS Reborn is the visual mods to end all visual mods in a way. Uh, but it is reliant on BlackRack's uh, volumetric clouds version of Scatterer. So the first thing we need to do is slip that in. So by that I mean this remarched volumetrics early access available from BlackRack's Patreon. Available from BlackRack's Patreon. And I don't have a more up-to-date version of this right now. I don't know if there is one. I haven't checked. Uh, so I'm just going to go with the version that I had last. And you... Sure it is visible. Uh, you only need the scatter and environmental visual enhancements, which means that in the original install, if you had RSS visual enhancements, you need to take out this and this, and might as well take out the cache as well. I don't use a TUFX. Okay, so now we're set up for it. And if you don't want to use volumetric clouds, that's a whole other business. But for now, we're assuming that you will. And having installed RSS visual enhancements, we need to delete a few things. RSS visual enhancements, RSS textures, and Copernicus itself because uh, the mod that we're going to have, the RSS Reborn, has its own version of Copernicus. And I did not install Parallax. For now, we'll leave that out. And But uh, technically, Parallax is required. Stock scatterer configs, I'm not too sure we need either. So I'll get rid of that too. OK, now what do you need to download from this business? Well, first, RSS configs. Real Solar System itself is going to get removed because Real Solar System, there's a different version of Real Solar System for RSS Reborn. Uh, so when we go back into this, we're going to actually delete Real Solar System. And what you'll see in RSS configs is that there is Real Solar System config in here and the Real Solar System plugin already. So that's all there already, but it'll be in RSS configs. So you don't want to have Real Solar System in your folder as well, because that'll conflict with this. So that is now Real Solar System. But what does Real Solar System require? Well, Real Solar System requires Copernicus, and we just deleted that, didn't we? I'm surprised that that config thing does not actually mention that it needs the Copernicus, um, the, the special version of Copernicus. Let me check this one. OK, well, all right, so here. We're going to get the special ver version of Copernicus. So open link. So this is complicated. <laughs> OK, so note that this version of Copernicus is only, and I'll actually link this particular page in the video description so you don't have to go to these instructions to get it. But uh, this version is only for the GitHub version of RSS Reborn, you see. It's not for the Google Drive version. If you wanted the Google Drive version, uh, you need Release 9. However, I have to confess, I didn't actually get to work with Release 9. I had to go for our older version in order to actually make it work. So, yeah. Anyway, 
uh, we, we just need this version, and so there's 11F. And since I've already downloaded it, we can see I've got 11F here. So game data, we've got Harmony here. We might as well use the versions that come with Copernicus. So I'll delete Harmony here. I'll delete Modular Flight Integrator here. Uh, module, uh, module Manager should be the same anyway. And there they are. Okay, so now we have Copernicus. So, now we have to be very careful. We didn't need that. We did need that. Let me open these. Uh, let, let's actually go in alphabetical order, maybe. Because otherwise it's going to be difficult. So, but alphabetical order, unfortunately, is not at all the order of priority here or importance, but we ultimately need everything. So, uh, I don't know. No, it is an order of last pushed. Mm, let me just go name. So, I'm just going to go through and discuss what we have in each one. I've downloaded all of them already. So, every single one of these... First is Asteroid Belt, we click on Releases, this, this is complicated, but there's this No Models one. Generally that's the one you're going to use unless you really, really intend on visiting the Asteroid Belt, like especially. Like you have a special mission that you need to the Asteroid Belt, and you're going to use this RSS Models thing. So here we have special models of stuff, and in particular, series. So if you're going to have this special model of series, as I understand it, you're going to use this. So in RSS models, we have, it says Luna or Mars models, but there's also the series one. So if you're going to use the series one, as I understand it, and I might be wrong, uh, if you're going to use those models, you'll use these two. But if you're not going to use those, you just go with this no models one, okay, which means that you don't want the really high quality stuff. And 16K is advisable for the first time. Uh, if you really want to push it, honestly, the, I don't even know if NASA has 32K <laughs> images of these things. But anyway, um, yeah, so asteroid belt textures, pick which one you want. And no models should be probably the default. And then RSS Earth, this has a whole lot of options, 16K, 32K, you're going to need to unzip this in a way, uh, these are two parts of the same zip file, 7-zip file, and so, you know, you could just use the 7-zip app to unzip it. When you download one of these bigger packages, you would right-click on it, like this one, uh, .001, 7-zip, open archive, and then doing it that way will get you all the parts put together. And then that's why I have these folders here. I've already done that for those because they were multi-part. I deleted the original parts and unzipped them to these folders. And so got the game data in here. So it's clearer for me instead of having to unzip them every time I needed them. So yeah, you'll have a bunch of these that are different parts of a zip file and you'll need to combine them like that using 7-zip generally speaking. So. 16K, 32K, 42K for some reason, 64K and uh, 86K options here for Earth. And that depends on your RAM and your needs. For the shuttle, I'm using 64K. And for everything else, I would probably use 32K. 16K doesn't provide much of a benefit over the original textures that come with real solar system if you get the really high definition package. RSS Jupiter, and this only comes in one flavor, 16K, and you'll need 7-zip to combine that together, or whichever uh, zip or WinRAR, I guess you could use. Kuiper Belt Textures, you need all of these, by the way. You can also not combine the GitHub version with the Google Drive version, and that's because they require different versions of Copernicus. So you're going to need to pick one. Either you're going to go with the Google Drive version or you're going to go with this, uh, this GitHub version, but presumably this one is the one that's going to get updated. Uh, so Kuiper Belt, 16K, very simple. Luna, there's a special one here for 184K textures. I don't even know how that works, really. Uh, 
if you take a look at 29 gigabytes of uncompressed data, what kind of system do you have <laughs> at that point? I just hope that it doesn't have seams this time. So if you just click this release, that's not going to be good. We need releases here. And then we can get the rest of them, which is probably what you want. And the rest of them is quite a lot. There's the 16K, there's the 32K, 42K, 64K, 92K in this case, and then scaled. Um, scaled is for the, the version of it from a distance, basically, if you'd like. So if you want a higher quality look at the moon from a distance, you might want to add that in. So otherwise, these are the main textures as you get closer. Mars. Again, it has a scaled and it has the variety of packages. Mercury, just 16K. And this is the RSS models. And you'll have to decide what to do about that. There's a special Mars config for it too. I haven't touched this. So I'm not using this one. Use at your own risk, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I'll try that out some other time. Because the install that I'm putting it into is a shuttle install and I don't need the highest quality stuff for the Moon or Mars or Ceres when doing stuff with the shuttle. Uh, Neptune, 16K, Saturn, and of course Saturn includes the Saturn system, 16K, all the stuff will be 16K. Soul textures, 2K, I mean, we, we don't have very good definition details of the sun, surface of the sun for obvious reasons. RSS terrain is what works with parallax, and so contains all parallax scatters and terrain textures for RSS Reborn. Uh, so that's up to you if you're using parallax, of course. And I don't have parallax in this particular install. Uh, Uranus, Venus. Okay, and then RSS Visual Enhancements configs. So this is actually what conf uh, configurates the environmental visual enhancements and scatterer mods for RSS Reborn. Remember, we deleted the stock one from the black rack package. And now we need the RSS visual enhancements text uh, configurations and the RSS visual enhancements textures. So that's what we've got here. All right, so if you've downloaded all of that, you'll have something like this. What you'll see is 0, 1, 2, 3, and this one is the 16K. This is 3-01 uh, for 32K, and then 303 is actually Earth. So 03 is Earth, and 03-01 is the Moon. And so you have to have both of those, and whichever resolution you have. And then Mars, uh, you can see the 16K one there and the 32K one there because I've already unzipped it. And then 5 will be Jupiter. And uh, the Mars one should come with Phobos and Deimos, by the way. So it won't have a 16 uh, or not. Okay. I don't know what happened to Phobos and Deimos. Maybe there isn't anything special for Phobos and Deimos. There's, there needs to be Phobos and Deimos. This is not right. Okay. So I'm missing Phobos and Deimos. Uh, everything should be here. But Phobos and Deimos, I'm not too sure about. So keep that in mind. Uh, there may be a Phobos or Deimos problem. We'll find out. Uh, anyway, uh, Jupiter 5, uh, Saturn System 6, uh, Uranus 7. Presumably that includes the moons, right? Yes, it does. See, those include the moons. Each of these system ones includes the moons. Yeah, that includes the moon. Even Pluto includes the moon. Uh, Mars did not include the moons. Poor Phobos and Deimos. Okay, but basically you can use the numbers to figure out whether you have everything. And then in game data, what we're going to do is go in sort of a priority order. If you have parallax, you can do RSS terrain. But I'm going to start with RSS configs, RSS VE configs, sorry. Uh, we have RSS configs already in there. And RSS VE configs. RSS VE textures. Now there's a lot. There's 1.6 gigabytes. And remember, RSS VE textures includes the clouds for Earth. 
M everywhere else. Uh, now this is a shuttle install, so I'm going to try try the 64k textures for Earth. So I'm just going to take this RSS textures folder and copy it in. And don't worry, I'll tell you how to check that we have everything later. Now this is a 7 gigabyte thing. But for now, I'm just going to go top down through my folder. So I'm not going to go from 0, 0 on. We could go from 0, 0, which is the sun, to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so forth. All textures from Mars. You know what? Hold on. Releases. Mars textures. Do we have a separate? No, we don't have a separate one for Fullos and Demos. Gosh darn you. <laughs> um, I thought there might be a separate zip for Fullos and Demos. Jupiter system. Jupiter system only comes in this flavor, I think. Mars, I want 16k again because the shuttle, and same for the moon. So the moon as well. Now you will ultimately face the question of whether you can even run KSP with all this. I have 64 gigabytes of RAM, and. Even I would have trouble if I had a certain number of mods in here. And that's because, honestly, the system doesn't like throwing all 64 gigabytes at a single program anyway. Uh, once you get past 32, it gets all iffy. So, Mercury and Venus. Okay, and also the asteroid belt, no models in this case. So, the way we check is in-game data, we go into RSS textures, go into plug-in data, and, well, we've missed one. We missed the sun. So, game data, RSS textures, plug-in data, sun. It's just the sun corona here. So, we should have 00, zero sun, zero 01 mercury, zero 02 venus, zero 03 earth, zero 03-01 moon, 04 Mars, and then Phobos and Deimos should be 0401 and 0402. Uh, 05 Jupiter, and then dash 01, dash 02, dash 03, dash 04 for the four Galilean moons. And then Saturn, and then six, sorry, seven moons of Saturn, and then Uranus, and then five moons of Uranus, and then Neptune, one moon of Neptune. Ceres and Vesta in the asteroid belt are 09-01 and 09-02. And then Pluto and then Karen, Sharon, I, I don't care. Anyway, uh, so we, we seem to be missing Phobos and Deimos. Will that hurt us? I'm not sure yet. Now, again, I haven't installed the parallax, uh, parallax or Parallax textures yet, but I'm going to fire it up and see if this works right now. Okay, so it says RSS train was not found in your installation. Ah, uh, fine. You know what? If they gotta warn me, I'll just do it. So, RSS terrain. And if I'm gonna bother putting that, I'm going to use CCAN to install Parallax as well. So, Parallax. Okay. Um, we don't need the stock ones. There isn't a parallax only version. Well, you know what? Okay, I'm not gonna use CCAN after all. I'm just going to copy parallax from a different install because I don't want to install the stock ones in here. All right, now let's see. Well, the parallax error is always there. Um, I don't know if we do anything but ignore it because we're not going to have parallax stock textures. Maybe we should have parallax stock textures. Maybe that's, that's always been my problem. If you think we should have parallax stock textures, even though we have the RSS terrain textures, please tell me in the comments below. Well, we have Earth in the background and we have clouds, so that's a good sign. Technically, clouds appearing here aren't indicative of anything. You might not have clouds appearing here, you might have them. Um, terrain detail has changed. That'll probably be due to RSS Reborn slash Parallax. Okay, as we can see, we have volumetric clouds here. 
Of course, I had RSS Canaveral HD as well, so we can't really judge the terrain right now. So let's bring the shuttle out as we do and see how it looks on launch and make sure that Earth is looking right. But I'm curious what's happening with Phobos and Deimos right now. So yeah, I explained how to set this up. I've explained how to run the the shuttle. Whoops, not the right thing there. I want KOS and here run OPS1-KS and don't forget the period at the end. Really should mention that more often. pay attention to the dialogue. If we look at map view, it looks like this. What I'm interested in is, while we're launching here, what's happened to Phobos and Deimos? Well, they look like that. So they don't, they, they're physically there, but they don't have textures. They're not textured. So I guess that's what happens when you leave out any of these textures. You're going to get the body there but you're not going to have a texture. It'll be like a little white blob like this. So hopefully that gets updated in RSS Reborn. I guess I could see what happens if we take the textures from the older version of RSS Reborn and put it in here as an experiment, of course. Or maybe take the textures, well, see the folder structure for the original RSS textures is completely different so we can't use it. The folder structure for the Google Drive version of RSS Reborn is similar to the GitHub version of RSS Reborn. But then there's a diff different version of Copernicus and I don't know what will happen. Okay, off go the boosters. Again, there's the skirt separation motors that are weird and so... Gonna need to figure out what to do about that. You can see the volumetric cloud stuff. It's up to you whether you like that aesthetic. Uh, installing RSS Reborn without the volumetric clouds and with regular RSS visual enhancements is possible, but I'm not going to try to explain that. I mean, after all, we don't actually have instructions for RSS Reborn GitHub version yet. I'm just winging it, so I'll wait a little bit before trying anything more unorthodox. Currently in total my system is using 73% of my system RAM by 64 gigabytes. So that's you know the rest of the system plus Kerbal. So this is how the clouds look at 115 kilometers right now. I've got an RTX 4070 graphics card so that has 12 gigabytes of RAM on it, VRAM. Okay, we have our orbit, the external tank is separated, avoidance maneuver, and the ET doors are closed, and the program has ended. Okay, so let's see how the clouds look from a higher altitude and also the terrain. I put in the 64k ter uh, textures for Earth for a reason, I want it to look good while we have the shell in orbit around it. Since I got the new graphics card, uh, I haven't had any particular problems. We're at 6x temporal upscaling right now. Could probably dump that down. The lower the number, the higher the quality, if you will. But it's not super crucial. Okay, so hang into daylight. Here's how it looks from a decent height. Coast right along here. I want to find some nice land though. Great. It's the Pacific. There's Hawaii. <laughs> My luck. Maybe we'll hit the west coast of. Ah, here we go. Uh, before nighttime. So the main reason why you want higher quality textures for Earth is because the coast, uh, coastlines are crisper. You can see it's much nicer looking than the lower quality or lower resolution textures for Earth. 
can really see a lot more detail and yeah for shell emissions this is definitely preferable and this is how the clouds look right now with the volumetric clouds it takes some time for them to sort of get to their full quality we just have it pointing forward just for the heck of it though technically actually the shuttle normally went backwards tail first but all right there you go. That's how to install RSS Reborn if you're using the GitHub version, though uh, clearly there's at least Phobos and Deimos missing. But other than that, if we take a look, we should probably see everything else looking proper. Obviously Mars has its textures there. Pretty nice looking. But it could be nicer looking. I only put the 16k textures in for Mars. Jupiter is looking like that, and if you go to Europa, this is Europa. So looking pretty spiffy. I'm not going to go through every single one of them. We know which ones have a problem, but I will go to Pluto. Well, I mean, we, we don't really have the greatest textures of Pluto anyway, but well, it's the best we can do right now, I suppose. So alright, there you have it. With that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.